And we're back. Alright, onwards to Buckler's Lab. I'm passing <laughs> off the controller for this one, because this is your area of expertise. I don't know about that. We farmed 200 silver points, so hopefully that will be enough for me to uh, do what I gotta do. If not, I guess we'll just have to farm some more. Nor steam. How many silver points would you like to pay? Let's do the f 10 first. Alright. I'm gonna watch Piet. Oh, dude, it's Vix! I know Vix. You watch Vix. And Wedge. Sweet! Final Fantasy references. And Star Wars. Oh, crap, I lost Piet already. <laughs> okay, Vix is on the right. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> At least one of us is doing our job. <laughs> We got a Poyozo doll. You can uh, bring that to bed with you. Have it keep you company. Was that the piano player in that one bar? Uh, it looks. It's pretty similar. Well, I mean, obviously, it's not the piano player. It's a doll. Yeah, exactly. It's a doll. What is up with the Mickey Mouse balloon? What Mickey Mouse balloon? Well, you're standing right behind it. Oh, dude. Yeah. Well, you know, Mickey Mouse. Pretty ubiquitous character. As long as you don't mind copyright infringements. <laughs> Who cares about that stuff? Not us. We're not about corporate greed up here. That's right. Share and share alike. Socialism. Alright. <laughs> oh, I hate this one. Okay. Why is laugh? I think that was that, and then four on your controller. A is surprise. Alright. Needless to say, we're using an emulator and a Logitech controller. We do have digital copy of Chrono Trigger, though, so everything's nice and legal. <laughs> Multiple copies, in fact. Five, five at least. <laughs> Double that if the FBI is asking. I knew you had an agoraphobia problem. Looks like you Let me concentrate! halfway through there with my, you know, attempts at being entertained. <laughs> uh-huh. We got the clone. I can't believe I did that on the first try. I mean, like, when I was a kid, I did that probably, like, 16 times before I got it right. Yeah, we got it recorded for posterity and everything. Uh, I feel like a freaking boss. Alright, was that the 40? That was the 40, yeah. So, we have, yeah, we haven't done the 80 yet. And the pushing things around, right? Right. <laughs> Monsters are closing in! It's the piano players. Would you want to go to an amusement attraction where you might get burned alive? <laughs> That's kind of messed up. This is another one I used to have, like, so much trouble on. And now I just, like freaking break the <laughs> hell out of it. Well done! Take this stray cat that we found at the fair. I gotta do it again so I can get cat food. I should save it. Otherwise the cat runs away because it, your mom doesn't feed it evidently. Why would she? 
Hey, Mom, I brought a stray cat home. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Your mom is a jerk. Ah. ah. Gotta go fight Gato some more. Yeah, so what happens? Okay, how many points do I have? Well, you had 200. You would have used 121 on that? Uh, or 130, because the first one's 10. Oh, right, right. 130, so I got 70. Yeah. I wonder what happens... Okay, the 10 is the... the finding game. Let's see what happens when you do another one. Alright, you watch Vex. You got it. And I'll get Piet. Vex is on the right. Again. Nice. I am so good at this. It is that obvious. You are you are a master Vix finder. Oh, I, there's there's cat cat food right there. Damn. Sweet. I'm gonna go save it. The non emulator way. We're not really on an emulator, guys. We're we're doing this fair. We're doing this millennial fair. We're, we're like hardcore gamers. We would never use emulators. Emulators are for pussies. You know, I'm kind of offended by that term. I don't think you should use it anymore, you dick. <laughs> I will if you stop being such a pussy. And now the kids won't <laughs> watch anymore. Are you kidding me? The kids are gonna love that. <laughs> Their parents are like, kids what are you watch. watching? Why do they use such bad language? Why am I doing this again? I don't know. <laughs> this is stupid. You better win, though. I know. Surprise! Surprise! A thousand years of pain! I almost lost. It's just like more cat food in your existence, isn't it? <laughs> more cat food, yeah, pretty much. My life's complete now. Alright. Melchior. There's more to him than meets the eye. Right, he was trying to get me to convince Marl to sell her pendant. What was that all about? Did you put no? I did put no. Okay, good choice. Good choice. I won't ruin it for you. Ah, you got the load sword. I did get the load Dude, sword. Dude, you were like grinding the hell out of this game. No. I will not. Alright. There's that some cool young lady. How can you tell it's a girl? No, I don't. Um, the lack of a penis. Okay, then. Sorry, like diarrhea of the mouth today. I don't know what's the matter with me. Hitting all-time low right there. <sighs> We're only about forty minutes in. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey! Hey! You, you were right, it was a girl. Uh, what? I don't know. It's pretty, pretty messed up. Alright. She wants to get some candy. Bubblegum taffy. So, I don't move, because if I move, she's gonna be like, Oh, are you trying to kidnap me? Or I don't remember what she says, but... There. Patience. I hate games that do that. They do that in like, Breath of Fire 3, <laughs> where it's like, 
pray to this stone, and then, like, nothing happens for 20 seconds, and if you move at all, you don't get to advance. You're supposed to just stand there, not doing anything. I tried for, like, three hours using different items in front of it. I'm, like, eating burnt rice balls and everything else, and nothing. Pull that Simon's quest on me. Oh, yeah, kneel beneath this cliff and a tornado will come and take you to the next level. <laughs> Simon's quest. I don't don't have the patience for that game. Or the patience for lying villagers, for that matter. <sighs> Step right on up. Any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. Alright, something's gonna happen now. That's where the game really starts. Well, Luca's dad looks exactly like the guy at the soda custom contest. Yep. He kinda of also looks like Frankenstein. He's got a really flat head. That's just a haircut. Check out that girl's glasses. Hey, four eyes! Man, I hate little kids. <laughs> she could probably see the backside of Moon with those. This crowd is, like, just made out of jerks. <laughs> Luca's inventions never work right. God dang, they suck. Well, you know, at first I thought it was just a hostile audience, but if her inventions never work right, maybe they have reason to not trust her. <laughs> look at that tech. But seriously, look at that tech. Well, just because it looks impressive doesn't mean it works, right? <sighs> I beg to differ. If it looks impressive... It's probably impressive. Luca, Chrono! Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? Yay! It looks like <laughs> fun! Is... Oh, such a psycho girl. I love that energy. <laughs> More people need that happy energy right there. I feel like it's just a thin veneer over top of some seriously messed up stuff, though. Um... Yeah, not really. I wouldn't say, I would say so. Alright. Now some, some serious stuff's gonna happen right here. The guy, he's hammering something. Mr. Sulu! Energize. <laughs> Bam! Quantum teleportation. Oh wow, that was great. That was everyone saying that. I, I noticed your enthusiasm. Yeah, I was like, wow, 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 that was great. I'd have to get closer to the mic if you're going to whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to try it again? I wonder if I can try it again. Huh. 